Well, the winner is Division Street, an impressive winner and a very, very proud driver and part owner is Michelle Lachance. So let's go down to Kenny Rice in the winner's circle with Michelle Lachance. Kenny? Thanks, Sharon. Mike, congratulations. This is the first time you've been in a Breeders' Crown race. Last year, the leading dash winner. Again, you're leading in the dash winning standings. And congratulations on the victory. Yeah, thanks very much. You said that you did not expect this kind of trip just a few moments ago, that everything set up well for you. Well, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect a two-wheel trip. Uh, I thought I was going to have to settle for a, th a third, sitting third, and maybe have to come first over. But it uh, turned out uh, very good for me. Two this, trip, so. this has turned out to be a nice night for racing, of course. The, the track was dry and it was in very good condition tonight. Yeah, the track's in super condition. Yeah, we, we, we went even faster than what, we, than what I thought it was going to go. I thought that the race was going to go like between 53 and 54. So what? Uh, we uh, we went half in 56, so it's a pretty good half. So we just and I had a perfect trip, so <laughs> I was home free after. Congratulations again, Michael Chance. Thanks very much, Sharon. And thank you very much, Kenny. And uh, what a year it's been for Michel Lachance. He was the winner of the second Breeders' Crown Race for 1985. Let's look at the payoffs now. And there was a little bit of money paid off. Division Street, 760, uh, paying 460 and 210, 1580 and 210 to place, and 210 to show. Back with more in a minute. Welcome back to Free State Raceway in Maryland, where the presentation is underway to the uh, owners of the winner of the Breeders' Crown Race for Older Pacers, Division Street, the winner. And it's a large group that owns this horse, including partially Michelle Lachance, who is the winning driver and a very happy person. The uh, ceremony is underway. Paul Weissenkopf, member of the Maryland legislature, played an important part in getting the legislation passed, which has done so much to help racing in the state. So let's go down to the winner's circle and uh, check in on the ceremonies right now. Congratulations on a well-deserved uh, trophy here. It was a wonderful race. Well, thank you very much, and I'll tell you, it's a great, great thrill just to be in the race and to win the race. You can't even describe it. Words can't describe it. Super times. Thank you very much. Dan, come in here a minute. Okay, come on. Put this there. I know you'll have plenty of time to look at that. Dan Kramer, one of the owners of Division Street. Congratulations. This five-year-old gelding purchased for 320000 last year, and I know that he's brought back a lot of returns of... Uh, Happy memories for you, including this one tonight. Well, we never thought he would be this type of horse. Uh, we wanted to bring him home and just race him in the open class type races in New York, but he's improved the last six or seven weeks. We didn't even think he'd be here, but the last few weeks he's been so good, we thought we'd just take a shot. We were lucky we drew the rail, and uh, we got the, one of the greatest drivers in the world, Mike Lachance, Vinny Gemma, the trainer. We got lucky we won. Dan, was there any particular time when you decided that Division Street was good enough? You said maybe a month or so ago you still weren't sure about the Breeders' Crown. Well, I think two weeks ago uh, he was extremely good at Freehold. He beat on the road again, and after that day I said the horse deserves it. He's made enough money back, and we got to give him a shot. Certainly the people liked on the road again tonight. He went off uh, odds on favorite, but 5-2, uh, to two, a lot of people were looking at Division Street. Well, again, he had the rail. He had just beaten on the road again. On the road again, one of the greatest horses of all time. Uh, he missed last week. It might have hurt him. Uh, but he's a great, great horse, and uh, one hot summer, one, uh, one bad race uh, necessarily doesn't make a year. And a very good race tonight for Michael Chance, as, as usual for him, and also Division Street. Well, yes, and uh, he deserves a lot of credit along with his trainer and caretaker, Vinny and Joy Gemma. Great thrill. Can't, can't describe it. Enjoy. Thank you very much, Thank Dan Kramer. One of the owners of Division Street, the winner tonight of the Breeders' Crown. Sharon? Well, Kenny, that is certainly one happy owner, and he gets to uh, take home that 